No freaking way. No way. So check here. Another job. <laughs> another job. I haven't took out the laptop. But check what is there. Toilet paper. I mean, these people are crazy. I have so much toilet paper in my house. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Crap. Advice. Reflow. Ram. Uh, not sure what job it is, but can be a good idea. Let's check. Let's check together. Ha! Send, sending a message on the toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, the, the customer are really going the extra mile. I mean, this is a new trend. Huh? Or actually, the customer are trying to tell me something, something which I don't understand. Huh? <laughs> Like, my jobs are... Uh, no, no, probably not. I mean, I don't know. You know, uh, what, you know what they are saying? They are saying when you're uh, stupid, you don't realize you're stupid. It's harder for the other people. So if you think actually I'm, uh, I'm a bad repair person, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I am and I don't realize. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm living on my own bubble and uh, I can't see out of my bubble. So we have, we have a ThinkPad. We have a letter. Check here, yeah? I've been following your channel for years, and now I finally have a reason to send you something for repair. I uh, was given a ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9, but someone, from someone who just upgraded the newer model. He's saying it was working, but he had an issue with it. I asked him what happened, exactly happened. The laptop was not dropped. It happened during the use. The screen suddenly went black and free function keys start flashing. Try to switch it off, but the power light, uh, light remains on. It might have been performing extended run test. After a long time, he said it was self-healing, nearly boot up but even, but went absolutely dead. Thanks for all your amazing content. It's great how you always stay positive and polite and never go full. Luis Rosman, lol. We all love Luis. And I have a toilet paper. Yeah, Luis has uh, his uh, temperament. Um, definitely, I can't go there. But I, 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 you know, I, I like uh, the way he is. Can we help this customer? Looks a complicated job for me. I mean, this is not a fully dead laptop. You know, it's a laptop which is doing weird stuff. i7 Evo. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. No, nothing. Let's plug a charger and see what he's doing. But yeah, from now on, we shall not accept jobs without uh, toilet paper, right? <laughs> Plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on. 19 volts, 2.1 amp. So basically the PD controller, it is working. Check that. 2 amps. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. No, nothing. You can see the current is the same. Okay, I will say let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, I know this motherboard. Huh, this is quite a tricky one. Huh? So the battery is charging. Let's try to make some space, yeah? Let me remove the heatsink and the foil. And the heatsink, it's out. Then the foil, the foil is out, and I will say let's check the coils, huh? what do you think? Yeah, let's check the coils. I'm pretty sure he reset the BIOS. Uh, but let's see, this coil, it's 178 ohms, it's good. This coil is good, yeah, this is good, this is the CPU. This one, 
is good. 16 ohms. Kind of low, right? 16. And this one is good. So what is this with 16 ohms? We have RAM memory here. Easy to be reflow, yeah. We're not sure it does the problem. The laptop is not coming on. That means the EC chip is not starting the board. And we have here one more coil with infinite resistance. Hmm? Okay, let's get a look closer. Uh, you know what? This power supply is 16 ohms. It's actually the RAM power supply. Kind of low 16 ohms, you don't think? 16, 1, 6. Yeah, 14 now. Hmm? Let's come with the power supply and see what's going on there. I'm going to lower the voltage down to like 1 volt. Good. We have ground and we need a thermal camera. Let me bring a screen. We have the thermal camera on the screen, microscope. And we are coming with current exactly here. And it's taking 260 milliamps. Mm -hmm. You think it can be normal? And the RAM is getting hot. It's getting warm, but that's normal. I don't think the RAM is faulty. No. I think that's normal for this board. Okay, let's check something else. Let me plug the battery and the charger. Now let's check some voltages. It's taking two amps, but yeah, it's not coming on. So here we have nothing. Here we have, this is the charging coil. Here we have five volts. Here we have 5.3. And this one has 1.8, so the chipset it's it's up. Here we have one more coil, and this one is 3.3, and the 3.3 is present. So every voltage is present. So why the laptop is not coming on then? Pressing the power button, and nothing happened. Hmm. Let's check with the thermal camera when the when the board is charging. And yeah, of course, that coil is getting hot. But the charging one, the chipset, the chipset, the chipset is looking good. Uh, this is strange. Okay, let me remove the BIOS battery. So, without the BIOS battery and the main battery, the board is starting. No, it's taking like 50 milliamps. Fifty milliamps. Pressing the power button. So the power button it is good. The current is going a little bit up and that's all. Let me try to find a schematic for this one. And we found on our Discord, check here. We have board view for this motherboard, D341, and we have the schematic. Yeah, let's get the schematic. So we have the schematic. But why is no heat from the EC chip on the battery? Hmm? Do we have any voltage on it? Here we have zero. You know, something is missing. Well, we have no voltage on the EC chip. I mean, if I plug the charger, you can see the EC chip is getting hot. Check that. So with the charger plugged in, here we have 3.3. .3. Check on the screen, 3.3. .3. So why without the charger, we have nothing? Because the battery has 14 volts. 
Nothing, zero. So we have three volts. We have 1.8. 1.8 is present. We have another three volts here. So from where this is coming, the three, the three volts, VCC3M, VCC3M, TPS51393, huh? Yeah, let's have a look at that TPS. I don't think the TPS is faulty, but from where it's getting power, TPS51, okay, it's not this one, one second. Uh, this one is getting power from VCs, which is the main power rail. Huh? Where is this TPS? New 3 to 5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we checked before. Yeah, we checked. It is 3.3 .3 here. This coil 3.3. If I unplug the charger, is zero because the main power rail is zero. No, it's 14. So basically, the enable pin is going away from this chip. The enable pin is M on, which is coming from where? From U101. Ha! <laughs> that chip. Which has six volts without the without the charger. You know what? I'm sorry I didn't record it. I just you know paused the recording. I said I'm going to, to eat, and uh, I was like, okay, let me try something. Heat up the CPU. Board started. I cannot turn it the dead back. So plug in the charger without any battery, and the laptop is coming on. Check here. Of course, I spent, uh, you can see it's taking one amp and it's getting proper hot. I spent probably like one hour, uh, check it on my OBS, yeah, exactly one hour um, going through the schematics and everything seems to be fine. And if it's not fine, it's because the software is not doing something. And at some point, you will get, okay, my this signal is not present. I think it's the same on the MacBooks, uh, the PCH SLP S4. That is not present. Why is not present? <laughs> because the chipset is not outputting the, that signal. Because is something wrong with the firmware, with the CPU, with the chipset, with whatever? Yeah. What is more interesting, and I never seen this. Yeah, this motherboard has no BIOS. Yeah. So if you think you can fix the software on this one, no, you can't. <laughs> so basically, now we have a working motherboard, and um, I know why. Yeah, I hit up the CPU. Well, what we are doing, that's a crack solder, that's a fault inside of the CPU, can be anything. I can't, I can't, I can't really charge money for a board which suddenly start working, because I know suddenly it can go dead, that's the problem. I'm going to try my treatment, yeah? Uh, yeah, we have nothing on the other side of the CPU, I'm going to come with some rosin, and uh, I'll try to boil the, boil the rosin under the CPU. Let's be sure the rosin is going behind of the CPU. Let's zoom a little bit. Okay, so we have rosin under the CPU. I'm going to take the nozzle off from the hot air. We have 480 degrees. And you can see the rosin boiling under the CPU. Now, I'm not planning to reflow the CPU. All I want uh, is the rosin to get hot. The rosin is corrosive. And the rosin can clean it. There it's a crack under the it's a solder ball and it's cracked. You know, boiling rosin can fix the problem. Let's see if it's still working. Plug in the charger. And yeah, the board is coming on straight away without the battery, without anything. Yeah. 
I done nothing. You have to understand. Check here. The motherboard is untouched. Okay. Just uh, give me like a few minutes. So let me put the board back into the laptop. Everything is back in place. Let's plug the charger. It is taking power. Pressing the power button. Huh? We are picture. System has self healed by restoring the BIOS from Becca. We are second. Basically, the laptop just piece on my work. What do you mean self healed? We 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 reflow the CPU, right? Like a soft reflow. The laptop had no power. How can self self heal without the power? No way. I can't believe actually the laptop took the credits for my work. Uh, anyway, escape to continue, and yeah, it is working. Yeah, the keyboard is working, everything is fine. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit crazy. What self healing? No, it was me. Can't believe. <laughs> you, you can't even charge money for something like that because the customer will say, no, 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 the bio self healed. You know, it's not you. That's freaking crazy. That that EC chip didn't even have power. You remember it? The EC chip didn't have power. Only with the charger was plugged in. The laptop, the EC chip had power when I'm pressing the power button for a few seconds, that goes off. Crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm happy I helped the customer somehow. Hopefully this laptop it will be fine. The sad story is. If you want to do a BIOS, you can't do a BIOS. You have no BIOS chip on the board. I don't understand. So that's the direction the laptops are going when no BIOS on the motherboard? Because that's kind of bad. Well, I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you